after his awakening, the, the Buddha was sitting under the Bodhi tree. And he surveyed the world with the eye of a Buddha. What does the world look like to the eye of a Buddha? He said beings were on fire. On fire with the fires of passion, aversion, delusion. So that's what we looked like to him when we were wherever we were at that point. We were on fire. And as we go from one lifetime to another, he said it's like a fire going from one house to another house. Catches it, burns it down. It moves over to the next house, and the next. And he said there's going to be no peace, because as he saw it, fire in those days was viewed as clinging to its fuel. As long as you cling, there's going to be there's going to be fire, there's going to be flame. And it's very easy for you to catch other beings on fire too, because everybody's flammable. As we practice, we're trying to put out the fires. Ultimately, the, our goal is to totally put out the fires. But in the meantime, we do our best to keep them under control. We do that with the practice of generosity, virtue, meditation. Generosity helps to overcome the fire of greed. Virtue helps to overcome the fires of both greed and anger. Some of the precepts you break out of greed, some of them you break out of anger. But if you can hold yourself back, you're getting some control over the fire. And meditation is for putting out the fires of delusion. The first thing you do is you adjust the fire. When you get the mind into good concentration, the verb the Buddha uses changes from the ordinary burning of a pile of twigs or a pile of wood into the verb for the burning of an oil lamp, chayate. As he told the monks, go out and Jayati or Jayata, he told them. This is from here that we get the word jhana. The mind is still burning, but it's got a controlled flame. And it's a steady flame. It's by that steady flame that you can read what's going on inside and outside. See the movements of your mind clearly. If you try to read by a bonfire, it's hard because the flames are leaping around, flickering here and there, bright and dark, then bright and dark. But when the mind is steady like this, it's like the flame of an oil lamp. You can use it to read, and you can see things clearly. So try to get your mind under control, get the fires under control. Each time you look at something or listen to something, ask yourself, are you putting it, setting it on fire? Because as the Buddha said, it's not only are our eyes and ears on fire, but the things we see with them, the feelings that come from them. As long as the mind is on fire, everything is on fire. So learn to look at things, dampen your fires, try to keep them under control. And it's that way we bring some coolness into the world and coolness into our hearts. So hopefully one day we'll be able to look at the world with the eyes of an awakened one and see that even though the world is on fire, we're not on fire. That's the best we can do. We can't put out the fires of the world. We can try our best to keep them under control. But you have to realize that you yourself are a flame thrower. Flame thrower. So be very careful about how you engage in the world. Don't add any more flame to what's already there. <laughs>